Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. The Honorable and Dearest Judges, Teachers, Ladies and Gentlemen on Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2022. Ladies and Gentlemen, based on World Health Organization leaves 2020 data, over 80% water deprived household depend on women for collecting water. The time it takes for walk to the average 3,7 miles for water. The time the time is not spent generating income, caring for family, or attending school. More than one in three people globally do not have access to safe drinking water, and four billion people lack adequate sanitation. Therefore, I, Audita Kawadani from University of Muhammadiyah Purwokerto Faculty of Pharmacy, delivering persuasive speech entitled Investing in Water and Sanitation Crisis in Indonesia for Global Recovery and Resilience through implementation of clean water and sanitation, industry innovation and infrastructure, climate action to shift sustainable development goals number six, nine, and thirteen. With a population of 273 million people, Indonesia is the fourth most populous country globally and claims Saudi's Asia's largest economy, the capital, Jakarta, continues to expand as an international hub. However, rural communities and residents of informal settlements in urban areas struggle with pure health and infrastructure. Water sources are distant, contaminated, or expensive for many households, and sanitation is unaffordable. For example, Marlina Village, Penjaringan, North Jakarta, has a clean water crisis, such as the tap water turns black, smells, and has a slippery sensation, similar to sour water. It is experienced for three to seven days from January to March 2022. This dramatically hampers daily human activity, such as the need to bath, boil water, wash clothes, wash dishes, and perform ablution. About 18 million people, about 18 million Indonesian like safe water, and 20 million like access to improved sanitation facilities. How can waste water be more efficiently used? And do you think global goals to provide everyone with safe and clean water are still realistic? Fortunately, a growing microfinance sector serves low-income households across the country, and they recognize water supply and sanitation financing is a growing need. For example, Water.org first launched in Indonesia in 2015. They've made rapid progress in increasing access to water and sanitation for low-income household through water credits. Building solid relationship with more than 26 uh, local financial institutions and changing the lives of more than 3 million people. They are working to build country capacity and help people access much needed capital from local banks to expand infrastructure needing safe water and sanitation solutions. Another solution is to change our consumption patterns step by step. Use less meat, all kinds of agricultural products that need a lot of water, etc. Therefore, I invite all of you to invest in Indonesia's water and sanitation crisis for global recovery and resilience, starting with small things. So, join me, Audita Ekawardani, for clean water and sanitation solutions by participating in the Young Water Sustainability Leaders event, where we can learn how to manage water related disaster, water resources, technology, and cooperation policies regarding water and financing. I believe we can all make a difference. Let's have deals because the future depends on us. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.